Hello everyone. It is my pleasure to be here as a resource speaker for second Global Alliance Education and Training Month in April 2021. My name is Ruhei Sano, Associate Professor at Hosei University, Japan. I serve as one of Board of Directors at the Japan Council on Disability. I'd like to make a presentation titled Disability no one must be left behind. Before starting, I must tell that I myself have a disability with my hand. It is happy for me to talk about what's really disability from my own perspective as well. First, I'd like to refer to two international instruments on disability, which are available nowadays in the world. Key terms on disability have been included in these documents, namely Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs from 2016 to 2030 and the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities or CRPD adopted in 2006. For information, I was the editor of the picture book CRPD. So what's really disability? According to the CRPD, it does not explicitly define disability. However, the preamble of CRPD says, disability is an evolving concept, that disability results from the interaction between persons with impairments and attitudinal and environmental barriers that hinders full and effective participation in society on an equal basis with others. One key factor here is environment, not just medical viewpoint. Nowadays, complementing the social model of disability, a human rights model of disability is also getting more known. According to this model, persons with disabilities are holders of rights and entitled to human dignity. In this sense, impairments are to be considered as aspects of human diversity. Once again, we respect diversity and disability is one aspect. So a question is, who are really those with disabilities? According to the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific or ESCAP, there are so many persons with diverse disabilities. Indeed, it's human diversity. Then, how many persons are with disabilities in the world? According to the World Report on Disability by WHO in 2011, 15% of the total population in the world is persons with disabilities. Let's say if we have 8 billion people in the world, it is about 1.2 billion persons who are with diverse disabilities. It is about 10 times of the population size of Japan as we have about 120 million people. But in practice, the number of persons with disabilities is up to each country, region, or area, as the definition of disability is different. As you see in Asia and the Pacific, in New Zealand, the disability prevalence is 24%, while it is 1.1% in Brunei Darussalam. As it is requested by my colleagues at ASEAN Public Relations Network, I'd like to highlight disability from the perspective of public relations. One important concept to understand disability is reasonable accommodation. According to the CRPD, it means necessary and appropriate modification and adjustments to let persons with disabilities enjoy their human rights. In short, differences should be well respected while reasonable accommodation is provided wherever needed, whenever needed. 
the CRPD clearly says that denial of reasonable accommodation is to be considered as discrimination. Indeed, persons with disabilities can play more roles in public relations. To leave no one behind, it must be critical for all of us to know who are really with disabilities. By the way, I respect the blind comedian, deaf YouTuber, and artist with developmental disorder since they have great talents in terms of public relations. Disability as one viewpoint in diversity and public relations. Towards an inclusive society for all, what can we do? In the past, disability was the target of charity or welfare. Nowadays, I hope to say that disability is one aspect of human diversity. Our ultimate goal is to realize an inclusive society for all. To make it happen, there must be many things to do. It's important for all of us to perceive disability as our topic, not their topic. Once again, no one must be left behind. Thank you very much for your attention.